Hi, I'm Sophie Robson. I'm at Henry Holland's studio today in East London and I'm going to be showing you how to do some of the nail looks that I do on his show. So we're going to start off with painting the whole nail with a fluoro pink base. A lot of people ask me what nail pens should you use. Um, what I tend to use is these brushes. They're like striping brushes and they come in a long thin bottle. So just take it and dab little flicks onto the nail surface that's painted pink. I use my fingertip to diffuse the hard lines and create the tie-dye effect. So when that's all done, I'm going to use the blue pen. This is a mid blue. This one's by Colour Club. And then I'm going to add little blue flashes next to the yellow. And when I blend them together, you can see it starts to go green. We're using a neon yellow. And we're going to add that onto the yellow and blue. And then it starts to make that really vibrant neon green colour and again we can just tap it a little bit with my fingertip to blend it all in together. Then we're going to take a darker shade of blue and add little dots onto the mid blue just to get that sort of shaded tie dye. And lastly we're using a fuchsia darker pink than the neon just to create a little bit more dimension to the pink. When you're happy with your tie-dye, I will use nothing else but Sesh Beat Top Coat. This is the mother of all top coats. So with the ombre, you need to use shades that are really similar in tone and also if possible that have a slight sheerness to them. So I'm going to start off with the peach colour and I'm going to go right into the cuticle line and get that really neat and even around the cuticle because you're only going to do one coat of that and then you need to make sure that the polish is really thick and wet in the middle so you can come in with your pink while it's still wet and you literally blend it in together and drag it down gently to get that ombre effect. For the purple and blue ombre, I'm going to use Do You Lilac It by OPI, Saint Tropez by Dior, and Mint Magic by Pop Beauty. This is a very small nail brand but I'm a big fan of them, they're not very expensive and I think you can get them online. So I'm going to start with the lilac and again make sure the cuticle line's really neat and leave it nice and wet in the middle then mix the blue together on the nail, drag it down and for the tip just use a tiny bit of the mint magic get that tricolour ombre. Okay, then we're gonna do the black animal print dots. I'm using Orly Black, because it's nice and thick and glossy. You definitely need a really thick black for this. Some tend to be watery. And you just create the shapes. And then finally, we're ready for the top coat using my trusty sesh feet as it dries very quickly and it gives a super gloss shine. So that's how you do the ombre animal print and the tie-dye nail by House of Holland and Sophie Robson.